Thanks for joining me at Margaret Ludic's Kitchen. This is going to be my 100th episode and I want it to be a very special one. Therefore, I'm taking you to a very special journey with me to tour Armenia's world-renowned Ararat Brandy Company. The Yerevan Brandy Company was founded in 1887 within the territories of Yerevan Fortress by the wealthy first guild merchant Nerses Tairian with the help of his cousin Vasily Tavirov. In 1899, the company was leased to Russian businessman Nikolai Shustov. The company became the main supplier of the Imperial Majesty's Court of Russia. During the international exhibition in Paris in 1900, uh, the brandy received the Grand Prix and the legal right to be called cognac. In 1948, in connection with the recognition of the Yerevan Ararat Wine Brandy Factory, the factory building was separated into two entities, the Ar Yerevan Ararat Brandy Factory and the Yerevan Brandy Factory. Between 1953 and 1991, the Yerevan Brandy Factory was granted the rights to become the plant to produce Armenian cognac within the Soviet Union. After the collapse of Soviet rule, in June 1998, the government of Armenia sold the company to French distiller Bernard Ricard for $30 million. Markar Setrakian was among the notable chief technologists of the factory who served from 1948 until 1973. Within the factory territories, the company also runs the Ararat Heritage Center Museum and shops which is open for public tours. Let's tour it together. Yerek, 
In 2001, a peace barrel was set for aging within the heritage center of the factory in honor of the visit of OSCE Minsk Group co-chairs. The barrel will be opened only when Karabakh conflict is resolved. Many heads of states and celebrities have their own barrels with their own signature to name a few, Nicole Pashinyan, Armen Sarkisian, Charles Aznavour, and many more celebrities have their own barrels with their own signatures. Ararat Brandy is the leading producer of the brandy in Armenia. To tour the Ararat Brandy factory, you need to reserve your spots in advance. They have several tours per day, but only one in English, they also have other tours in Armenian, Russian, Dutch, Spanish, and French. We did not have any reservation that day, but they were very nice to let us join a group which was specially invited to tour the company. They were a group of professionals throughout the city of Yerevan from the supermarkets. They were supermarket professionals and salespeople. They were invited to tour the company and to do a, a testing and we were allowed to join them and we got very special treatment and we are very 
uh, grateful for that. And we thank the management group, especially Ardium, the general manager, who was very hospitable and they all showed us exceptional hospitality and we, they made our day very special and we enjoyed this the tour of this historical building and on top of that we had a great tasting and the tasting followed with the tour of the company throughout the years many celebrities and state heads had visited this historical company and they have this beautiful wall of pictures showing all the celebrities that had visited and they left their signature on the barrels. Winston Churchill was a huge fan of Armenian brandy after he was introduced to it in 1945. He liked it so much that he ordered the case to be shipped to him every month. Churchill was also quoted when he was asked What's the secret to a long life? And his reply was Cuban cigar, army and brandy, and no sports. I learned Ararat 3 stars is 3 years old and Ararat Ahtamar is 10 years old. I also want to share this with you that all of the trees used to make the barrels must be from Armenia and must be at least 100 years old. They also are constantly replanting. After the tour of the museum, we were invited to join them at the testing room and where we tested the new production of uh, apricot ararat. Our guide was very informative and she was very passionate about Ararat uh, factory and its history and she um, taught us the correct way to drink the brandy and I wish I had her name but I um, did not make notes and I did not take names uh, which I regret but she was the best and I really enjoyed uh, listening to her presentation. After brandy testing, the general manager, Ardium, invited us to join them to go to the factory, which was about an hour drive from the city. It was at Aigevan, and we had to drive. Our driver took us. We followed the bus. They were with the bus, and we were with our driver, and we followed them to Aigevan. Here we are at the Aigevan factory and this really elevated our tour to another level we very much enjoyed the tour and this was very very interesting and i'm glad we had made to this tour <laughs> Thank 
դիմա ինչ եմ ուզում ասեմ նայեք հերթականությունով մեքենաները գալիս են մեր ֆերմերների հետ կնքած ղարունից <gülüyor> 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 որ ժամինը գալու նայք օդնա դրած այկավան այկավան զրոզո 11-60 այսինքն հիմա ար մեկվածինի հերթնա որի կապետ համատի դա ապրում է նրա համար որ մեքենաները հերթ չկանգնեն չուշանան խաղողը մեջը չթթվի This concludes our tour of the Ararat Brandy factory in Aigevan and also the factory museum in Yerevan. We met this beautiful group of people and we made friends with them and enjoyed their hospitality. It was an exceptional tour and exceptional hospitality. Our special thanks to our beautiful tour guide who was very passionate and very knowledgeable about the company history and the company brand. Also, our special thanks to Ardio Miroyan, the general manager, who invited us to tour the company and we are grateful for that. Ardio and Ardag, the general manager at the Aigevan factory, they both explained the process and the history of the company. We also met Hovanes Yeritsyan, the brand manager, who also spent a lot of time with us explaining and showing us around. We also thank everyone at the Ararat Konyak factory. Thank you all, you made us feel very special. And finally, thank you for watching this video. Thanks for spending time with me at Margaret Lalik's kitchen. If you like the video, please hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel. I release new videos every Wednesday and Sunday at 10 a.m. Don't forget also to hit that bell button to be notified of my new releases. Have a wonderful day, wonderful week and wonderful life. Bye-bye.